So, starting off here, we got Marathon starting off with a str- Oh, sorry, let me adjust the, uh, score. Oh, yeah. The overlay, no one misleading the good people. So, we have a rather commanding lead here coming from Marathon. We'll see if he's learned anything from his last time playing Potato. So, but Potato getting those grabs. He is good with those grabs. That's his scariest aspect. When he gets a grab on you, he has an insane advantage. But, with thanks to maybe Lilat, maybe maybe that didn't auto cancel because Lilat was still enough I wasn't quite paying attention. But we have a scary offstage situation, but he makes it back and Marathon knowing just what the fuck oh god, this there's too many things happening at once. Oh and god, you're going in just so brave with that forward air saying, you know what? I bet you're gonna try to grab me, but I'm just gonna jab you. Oh and he hits! What a what a god just swings his sword at that arc thunder man now that is that's is some big that's some big brains but that quick nearly flawless just turn around grab and is he gonna oh and he takes it what a tech what a tech that was excellent timing from potato and an excellent tech from marathon you will only find gameplay of this caliber in uh wherever we are i've been kidnapped help me <laughs> but anyway, not quite. Uh, the marathon a little too high for those to. Oh, well, I can go go either suck an egg. Uh, apparently, I don't know anything. Oh, don't want to go near that arc fire, but it goes in so greedy, just wants to hit that Robin. You're so slow and so easy to hit Robin. I just want to hit you, but Robin knows that to hit you back. But like I said, Potato with those great. Every time he gets a grab, you know, it runs up, just gets great conversions off of him. At least if you can make the first hit connect. But Marathon, seeing that blocked off that, um, with the arc car blocked off that, uh, that little space of on stage, recognizing that he had to go above him and hit him with that up smash. Very smart, very smart. Oh, and a, a stellar, stellar pivot grab from Marathon. So we're going to have it 1 0 in Marathon's favor. So it was 2 0 um, previously. What awaits us yet? Three, two, one, go! Alright, so what do we got? Yeah. Okay. Into. So will Potato be able to? Potato was able to make some really great conversions when Marathon made egregious flubs. But we need to see Potato make a, be a little bit more proactive in getting around Robin's tools rather than just waiting for Marathon to make a mistake and let him in. Oh, tries to go for that two frame, a little late, but gets him with the IQ test with that up smash. Oh, and gets the kill confirmed. Oh, and that, that is a beautiful angle. That is such, that is such a, 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 a little known thing about Robin. Oh, and gets him with his own IQ test. We are, we are now in these, we are now in the double digits. Oh, Marathon quick to see that roll behind. Oh, catches him in the air with an arc fire. We got the Levin Sword, and oh, we have good spacing, but that jab is able to catch him just, just Catches him in the air again, man, Marathon is just the sniper of this tournament. He caught, he got Timote's ZSS in like the upper left-hand corner of Battlefield screen with an Arc Thunder, like from half court. That was it. Michael scored a fucking three-pointer on Rui. Uh, uh, a half court heave ho throw. Half time, half court, he post up. But uh, Marathon's done a good job. He's brought it back. But the yeah, eye, man, we're, we're. Oh my god, he hit one. This, it's, it's like. Have, have the laws of gravity changed? 
Is there a magnet in Ike's sword? Is there a magnet in, my, in, in Robin's sword? Yeah, it kind of does, Riley. I think, you know, uh, Potato, he loves those up smashes. He's ready. He's ready to. It's like, I, I'm gonna call it the fly swatter from now on. Trying to catch him out of midair, just swat the fly. Catch fly out of the air with chopsticks. The Mr. Miyagi. But, Potato, oh, he's, he's pretty high now, so I think he's right about in checkmate range. So, Marathon's probably gonna be looking for some, some tasty grab combos. But again, snipes him! A uh, snipes with, uh, uh what, what's. What, what's that level of Arc Thunder called? L Thunder? Got him with an L Thunder. Got My Michael H. Michael, can you commentate your own match here real quick? You know your character. <laughs> oh, and the there's so many wake up smashes. What? Oh, it goes for it again. Oh, and wish that, wish that, uh, that. It's, oh, okay. So this is this is definitely going to be an uphill climb for Potato. This is got a, against Robin. Got a lot of a lot of extra credit here. And as a slow character himself, Ike is going to have a hard time get up and read the uh, the high recovery with the quick draw. Uh, Potato's been doing that quite a bit and doing those high recoveries. I've got your back. It's okay. We're here to learn. Except the people who win the tournament, they're here to win. <laughs> and and learn. <laughs> okay, so it sounds like we have a counter pick to Dreamland. So we'll see if this helps. So we were just on Battlefield. We'll see if this helps Potatoes cause any. I'm sure there are maybe some niche setups, maybe a lower ceiling, maybe higher platforms. We'll see. But Marathon's been getting that quite a bit, kind of leaning in, kind of looking like he's overextending with those forward airs, but he's actually le purposely trying to bridge against their shield and then give them a drop shield and then hit them with a jab. And that's something he's been able to get potato with quite a bit. And kind of keeping that juggle going, tries to go for that cheeky Nosferatu, but Potato's saying no, he does not want to sit still. And trying to, and that is actually something you can do. Um, we saw their potato dropping his shield, trying to jab. That it actually is a very good option for some characters against Robins. Um, if they drop shield, they can sometimes actually hit the arc, uh, hit Robin as they try to capitalize on them holding shield against Arc Fire. Kind of Robin trivia there. But anyway, jumping over the ledge, kind of abusing, or not abusing, but taking advantage of the fact that Marathon is expecting something slightly different than, uh... Jump off the ledge, he catches him with another up smash, this is... Does, but can Potato see the future? But gets him, is that gonna do it? Oh, uh, yep, and I, I think maybe even he wouldn't have had enough time to charge his quick draw. But... Have. So we are on these two. We are. This is Potato's tournament life here on the line. So he's got to make something happen. And Marathon seems intent to just kind of rack up that. Uh, that is so demoralizing when you get Nosferatu. Oh, and he's able to make it back. We'll see. Potato. Potato's excellent in situations like these. He has brought things back from the depths before. We'll see if he can do it again. He is fearless. He does not exhibit the typical symptoms of fear you would normally expect. He just says he has nothing to lose, so he's just going to go for it. But he's got a lot of obstacles to work around. And going for that, maybe expecting Marathon to... Oh, deceptive! Alright, so Marathon... Yeah, that's 3-1. So, alright, looks like Marathon got his... Regained his honor. Yeah, 